Libra, welcome to your weekly love journal reading. Bi-weekly, actually. This is going to be a love reading for the sign of Libra. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Wherever you have Libra, the reading may resonate. Uh, personal reading information is linked in this in the description box. Any jewelry seen will also be linked and listed. Anything seen actually will be linked and listed. Towards the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Uh, what else? It is aimed for the first half of December, but time is elusive. Whenever you are drawn to the reading is usually when the message is meant to be heard. Otherwise, we're jumping right in, Libra. Love energies for Libra. The person on their mind, whoever it is they're thinking about. Love energy is coming towards you, surrounding you. What do you need to know? What does Libra need to know? Love, romance, energy is coming towards Libra, surrounding Libra. Whoever is on their mind, what do they need to know? First half of December. Libra. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. What does Libra need to know regarding love, romance, energies? I think we have Flipper, Six of Wands. Six of Wands, first card out flipped over. I also see the Nine of Pentacles underneath here. So some of you are absolutely single, but fabulous. You know what I'm saying you ain't missing a thing, but a chicken wing. Single but fabulous, you've got it going on. Like you're not in need of nothing. If you have someone, that's cool. If you don't, that's that's cool too, you know? Six of Wands is beautiful energy. This is overcoming, this is victory. This is public recognition. Two of Swords is your next card out. What else do we have for Libra? So this could be your energy. This could be someone that you are dealing with energetically. Someone that is in your energy. You know your story. Put yourself where you fit. Magician popped out. Major Arcana for Aries energy. This Tower card. Major Arcana for Scorpio energy. Scorpio season could have been significant to you. Maybe you've met someone in Scorpio season. Maybe you became single in Scorpio season. What else? Nine of Cups, beautiful energy. And I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. What else do we have for Libra? One more card, love and energy surrounding them, coming towards them. Whoever's on their mind, what do they need to know? Libra. The Devil card, major arcana for Capricorn energy. I also see the Page of Swords here, Air Sign Energy, Aries Leo, Gemini Libra or an Aquarius, so that could be you, and the King of Cups, Water Sign Energy, Cap um, Cancer, Spices, or Scorpio. Bottom of the deck is the Ten of Wands. So what is going on? You're doing too much. You or someone is doing too much. This is my you're doing too much card. You know, you're the, either the one doing all the work or there is something that is weighing on your shoulders, some sort of, you know, energetically, whether you're physically doing too much in the real world or there is something that is energetically weighing on your shoulders. It's becoming too much to bear. It's becoming burdensome, okay? Could be work, could be passion. Maybe someone's passion is a bit overwhelming. Can't take it no more. Let's see. Six of Wands in the Tower card in your past position. Huh, very interesting energy. There is something I feel like that's going to go a lot better than you're expecting it to go. Right? It's maybe some sort of expression here. I kind of get the vibe that someone is watching you. Someone has maybe a low-key obsession with you. They like seeing you maybe on social media, whatever it is. Or there could be someone that is just curious. Someone that you maybe don't expect to be curious. The tower card is sudden changes, like ma not sudden changes. Yes, sudden changes, but massive change. Changes that kind of change your reality, the way you live your life, your day to day, right? Also could be something that has ended. Maybe someone has victoriously left a situation. And finally, it finally crumbled. It finally fell down. And that's a good thing. That's overcoming. Maybe they had a hard time leaving whatever this is behind. Could be a mindset, person, place, or thing. It's going to be different for all of us. But this is some sort of big change here that is actually positive, especially with the Six of Wands. Whatever this big change is, whatever this ending is, whatever this realization is, 
because it could also be epiphany energy, some sort of realization that someone might be having. It's good. It's good. It's going to put you right where you need to be. It's it's a victory. Okay? Because I do see you going from the 6 to the 10. Yeah, it looks like whatever it is, it wasn't, it, it was too much. It was too much energetically. It was too much physically. It was just too much. You've reached a, a, a point where, you know, you can't do it anymore. You or someone else. Reaching a point where you can't do it anymore. So, the ending. Someone has finally ended it. And that is victorious. That is that is good karma. The weight has been lifted. Okay. The two of swords and the nine of cups in your present position. The two of swords is an energy of not being open emotionally. Someone that is not emotionally available. Someone that doesn't want to make a decision. They're kind of avoidant of their heart space. This could be whoever was overcoming this past situation that was heavy. This could also, this is also giving me a vibe like someone not wanting to see or admit where their happiness is. Because the Nine of Cups is very content energy. This is my, you're living your best life card. Also wish fulfillment energy there. But it's like, why would you want to avoid that? Why would you want to not live your best life? Why would you be ignoring the possibility or opportunity to live your best life? Also, this could be who are you dealing with? Whoever was in this Two of Swords, this could be you. Like, okay, whatever. You know? You don't want to be open? Cool. Life is still great. Life is still great. I mean, obviously, I would have wish you would have chose different, but life is still great. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm a self-contained individual. I get my fulfillment from myself. So you do or you don't, it doesn't matter. Good either way, right? But it is giving me a vibe like someone didn't want to admit or see that their happiness was in a particular situation. That something was, in fact, everything that they desire. The Magician and the Devil card in your future energy. Two major arcanas here. Yeah, this looks like it's about to change, though. With this Magician energy, this is absolutely taking your power back. This is realizing that whatever it is that you're desiring, whatever it is this Nine of Cups is representing... Whatever situation that's going to make you the most fulfilled, you are absolutely capable of having it. Absolutely capable. This is coming up as obsession to me, this, this uh, devil energy, because I am seeing it with this page of wands, page of swords. It's like someone didn't want to show where they weren't open, but they were sure as hell watching. They were sure as hell watching, obsessively too. Also could be very sexual energy. Like they're ignoring, they don't want to, they don't want to admit that this is what they want, but they can't stop watching. They can't keep their eyes off of it, off of you. Air sign energy, uh, earth sign energy. So this could be you or vice versa. You could have earth in your chart. Someone loves watching you. And it looks like the, this magician, looks like they're finally maybe getting ready to have this. They're realizing I can have this. I do want this. King of Cups is someone with a lot of emotion. Usually very not very good at expressing it. More of a person that shows you how they feel through actions. But there's a lot of love there nonetheless. And this is what someone is getting ready to act on. Coming away from this Two of Swords energy. The Two of Swords could have been because of whatever they just went through was a lot, right? Especially if it's the Tower and the Ten of Wands. Whatever they just went through, what just ended, clearly was a lot. It was a lot. It was, it was a lot. It was a bit much. So maybe this two of swords is representing a grace period, right? Not wanting to jump into anything new just right away. You know? But there is something here that someone is very much, very much attached to. Very much intrigued by. And there are emotions here. So not only is there some sort of fire connection passion excitement but there's emotions someone is getting ready to manifest this an admiration i see the page of pentacles here very much an admiration card look how he's looking at the pentacle like oh you so cute how do i how do i how do i make this grow right how do i make this grow and i also see the three of pentacles here working together alignment 
body, mind, and spirit all being on the same accord. So someone could have had to heal. They could have had to heal a bit first. But this is working things out, cooperating. Very different energy from that Two of Swords. And I also see the Five of Cups here. Yeah, this is what someone had to get over. This was, was this is what was causing this Two of Swords. Regret, or this could be, you know, because as I said, I am getting a vibe like they didn't want to, you know, go further. And you're like, okay, cool. Me and they taking the chip off of my shoulder. Cool. You don't want to move forward with this? Cool, that's your prerogative. You have free will. You can choose to live your life however you want, whether it's with me or without me, but I'm still good. My my fulfillment doesn't come from you. It comes from myself. Right? And this is what this person's like, oh, shit. I might have missed an opportunity here. I might have messed this up because they're focused on the three of cups when there's two of cups still 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 viable life force behind them. But what, what, what would it require? A change of perspective, right? Five being the change, all he has to do is turn around and change his viewpoint and he would see things very differently. So that could be why now that there now there wants to be some sort of working this out. And I also see the eight of pentacles here. So someone knows it's going to take work. They're willing to do it. It's going to take work, but they're willing to do it. I also see the wheel of fortune here. As I said, ace of wands. So absolutely, there is very much a sexual energy here. And I see the queen of wands. Very hot individual, male or female, doesn't matter. Feminine energy is just, we're not chasing anything. We're allowing what is for us to come to us. We're very focused on ourselves. You know your, you know your, you know your worth. You know your worth. You're not about to be chasing anybody, especially someone that was not emotionally available at the time. Right? But there is very, very, a, a very good, a deep attraction here with the devil. Very deep attraction here. That's someone I don't think they can deny that anymore. They don't want to, they don't want to pretend like they're not. So they're going to manifest this. Or maybe they thought it was just an, a, a physical attraction initially, but they're realizing, no, there's more to it than that. It's not just physical. I don't just want to jump this person's bones. I actually feel for them. Like there's a place in my heart for this person. They're conjuring emotions out of me. Okay, let's get the oracles. For Libra, what do we have for the first half of December? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So this could be actual religion that was keeping this person. Maybe that's why they were in the Two of Swords. But a lot of the time, this is self-belief, right? Because a religion is anything we subscribe to that we can't see, feel, or touch, which includes our self-perception, how we view ourselves. So if our self-view or, or the way we look at our, ourselves is, is out of alignment, then we're not going to feel worthy. We're not going to feel like we can have what we want. Okay? What's underneath here? Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world and past life relationship. You've known each other before. Some of you might be going away with this person. And the Moonology. Libra. Two cards. You're very close to achieving your goal. Yeah. Someone is realizing what they want is out there. But they got to go get it. What do you need to release? Negative, negative shit. And the end of a tough cycle approach is full moon in Capricorn. So you absolutely could be dealing with a Capricorn. But someone, someone was learning some things about themselves. Could be they were learning that they do have emotions. That could be what they're learning. That it's not just a physical attraction. You're not, it's not only because you're hot. There's more to it, and here comes the offer, okay? That is your reading, Libra. Hopefully, it resonates with you. Thumbs me up, leave me a comment. If it does, don't forget to subscribe. See you all next week.